This demonstration shows just how quickly fire can spread. In mere minutes, a home can be engulfed, leaving inhabitants injured or killed and creating a toxic mix of chemicals created by the highly flammable petroleum-based contents of our homes. Now, in the first study of its kind led by Sunnybrook Health Sciences Centre, the economic costs of burn care to our health care system will be evaluated. We need to get a really good handle on what does it cost to treat a burn patient, uh, what does it cost to treat long term even from the, for firefighters, what kind of health uh, costs are incurred because now they may have chronic lung disease, um, asthma, things that, that continue to cost us the health care system money. And as a profession, firefighters also have much higher rates of many types of cancer compared to the general population. In the Sunnybrook study, researchers will be working with coroner files, fire chiefs and rehab groups to evaluate existing data. They'll also reach out internationally to evaluate best practices and how they may apply to Canada. As the largest burn unit in this country, more than 200 patients are treated every year at Sunnybrook's Ross Tilly Burn Centre. 31 years on the job, Ron Jenkins says the Sunnybrook study is an important one. It's looking at the, the cost to the human side of fire, uh, the physical impact that it does to the victims, as well as the impact on firefighters, the first responders that are going into these buildings day in and day out. Despite public awareness campaigns, many homes still don't have working smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors, both potentially life-saving tools. Jenkins says make sure your home has both and visit the Toronto Fire Services website for more helpful tips. The results of Sunnybrook's study, a joint venture between the Ross Tilly Burn Centre and the Office for Injury Prevention, will be available in three years. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.